Carbondale is a town, unlike most towns in southern Illinois, it's a town where everyone has their own opinion, their own agenda, uh, and it's all, all most of the time very respected. And um, that's why I love this town. It's, it's not really a representation of southern Illinois, but it's just its own thing. When you paint something on a wall, it's sort of like art that everyone has to see. When you uh, record a song or um, paint a painting or make a movie or whatever uh, medium you use to express yourself, no one has to watch it, no one has to listen to it, no one has to read it. But when you paint something on a wall that everyone passes by every day, they're subject to seeing that every day. And it's, it's cool that I can make someone see my thoughts every day. Did a piece recently. Uh, it was just wherever you'd like. It was just those three words, and it was just to tell people, do what you want, and wherever you'd like to do it. It's all up to you. You're a human on Earth, I and mean, you're not this. You're not that. You're what you want to be. What is rich with uh, subculture music, subculture art? Like a stay bond of all is another name. That's, that's like street art wise. It's absolutely. Amazing, you know, like the, the side of the Long Branch, he did that in the back of uh, what is Will, what's now Blade King's barbershop. He did mm -hmm. incredible pieces that you see every day, and it's something that kind of reminds you of what Carbondale street art started as. Carbondale, what it, I don't know about really what it means. What I've seen in Carbondale is a perpetual rise and fall cycle. It's been, uh, I've seen, I haven't been here for the whole thing to experience every rise and fall of the scene, musically and artistically speaking. There's been extremely high points and extremely low points and fucking fast and slow times that I have seen though, and it's I'm I'm honored to be part of the parts of the scene that I have been in, and see some of the amazing art that's come out of here and not to risk sounding like that guy, but it is it is kind of a stepping stone for a lot of artists. I've seen a lot of artists uh, actually get popular out of. Uh, out of Carbondale. It's extremely impressive to see somebody come up from the Midwest and make a name for themselves with very limited resources. My name is Ben Willard. I play drums for The Shakes, a uh, punk rock band that, from Carbondale. I want to. It would be great, like, to stake my claim as, uh, just to be remembered as a Carbondale musician would just be great, and could also help me from there on out. Right now, I'm watching this amazing rise of artists here actually. It's kind of what excited me to become part of it again. In the big rock candy mountain, there's a land that's fair and bright. The handouts grow on bushes and you sleep out every night. Where the boxcars all are empty and the sun shines every day. And the birds and the bees and the cigarette trees The lemonade springs where the bluebird sings In the big rock candy mountains I said I'll see you all this coming fall At the big rock candy mountains 